have you ever felt like there's just gotta be more to life than what you're currently experiencing? Well, girl, if that's you, let me help you out because I want you to know you are not alone. I felt that way so many times. And feeling that way actually took me on a reposition journey of personal discovery, purpose, and prosperity. You see, I realized that success is not the key to happiness. I discovered that happiness is the key to success. And I realized that by discovering who I really am, understanding that I have purpose, I was guaranteed to prosper. But I had to have that discovery happen. And guess what? It did. And so I'm here to help you discover the same thing too. If you're ready to break through from the mundane and step into a life of fulfillment, well, this is the episode for you. So stay tuned as we get ready to fine tune your purpose so that you can heal, grow, and prosper. Today, I'm going to guide you once again towards a life where you thrive in every area. Welcome to Time to Win Podcast, where healing and growth collide with purpose and you get to heal, grow, and prosper. I'm your host, RJ Jackson. And for the next nine minutes, we're going to embark on a reposition journey together. Join me as we take a graceful 90 degree turn from stress and struggling to purpose and prosperity. As a professional impact speaker and mindset coach, I'm here to show you the way out of secretly suffering in silence and help you get back on the path of prosperity. Because I firmly believe that you were born to prosper. So if you're ready, let's make that shift. It's time to win, my friend. So let's go fight win. Yes, welcome everybody. Welcome to and welcome back to Time to Win Podcast. It's me hanging out with you again. And let me let you know, my friend, my heart skipped a beat when I knew Wednesday had arrived because that means I get to chat with you and hang out with you. And I'm so grateful for it. So thank you so much for joining us today. It doesn't matter to me if this is your first time or your ninth time. I'm just glad we get to do this one more time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And today we're going to continue our conversation about living life fulfilled and living it fulfilled now. Like, we're not going to keep looking back at the past or keep looking forward to the future. We're going to enjoy this moment right here right now. So let's dive in and have some real talk about how we're really feeling. You know, that feeling of being lost and uncertain and not sure what to do, how to do what you want to do. You know there's more to life, but you just can't figure it out. I got you, boo. I got you, girl. You are in the right space at the right time today. And today we're going to dive in deep into those feelings and we're going to turn them into stepping stones for growth. After all, you know what I say, healthy people grow, right? So take a moment with me and I want to ask you some questions today. I want to get you thinking about how you really feel. And where you're really at, because you don't know where you're at. You do not know where you're going. And so it's important to realize, recognize, and admit where we are so we can know where we want to go. We don't have to know all the steps to get there, but we have to know the direction in which we want to take. So let me ask you a couple of questions. And they're kind of like rhetorical questions in a way, like I'm asking you, But you can't answer me, but I want you to answer yourself. I want you to be truthful with yourself. Like, 
It doesn't matter what you tell me. What matters most is really what you tell yourself. So be honest with yourself today. Because God said it. It's his promise. He said, I would that you would prosper. That's my desire for you. That's my plan for you. A plan for a future and a hope. We don't have time to be feeling hopeless. That's not in the plan. So let me ask you, do you ever wonder, like, what is my life purpose? Like, maybe sometimes you're feeling like you know it, you got it, you're clear. And then maybe a week later, you're like, oh, what am I doing? Is this what I'm supposed to do? I'm just not sure anymore. Okay. If that's you, listen, it's okay. Here's what I don't want you to do, if that's you. I don't want you to dwell on uncertainty. I don't want you to stay there in that feeling and emotion of, I just don't know. Instead, I want you to embrace the journey. Embrace the journey of personal discovery. Explore different interests. Experience new opportunities so that you can uncover what truly sets your soul on fire. Like what ignites your soul? What makes you come alive? What makes you feel like, whoo, how does the song say, this is it? (laughs) What gets you going, girl? But in order to know that, You really have to explore. You have to embrace the journey where you are. You have to have new experiences. So whatever you do, don't dwell on uncertainty. Because if you dwell on it, you're going to live there. And if you live there, you're going to die there. You know what I always say. You don't have to live where you're dying. And you don't have to die where you're living. Come on. You may not know what it is with assurance, but I know you you know for a fact and with assurance that you do have a purpose and that you do matter and that the world does need your greatness and they're waiting. Yes, they're waiting for you to show up. So it's okay to wonder what your purpose is. Just don't dwell on the uncertainty of not knowing. Okay, okay, here's another question for you. I know, I know, we we going deep today. I told you we were going to dive in deep. Because listen, playtime is over. It's time to know who you are. It's time to figure out this thing called life and where you fit in. What is your piece of the puzzle? Because here's the deal. Your piece of the puzzle of this thing called life is not a standalone piece. It's connected to someone else's piece. And they need you in order to survive. You feeling me? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay, good. Let me put one more question down for you to think about. So here's my next question. Have you been... Seeking personal growth, but feeling stuck. Like, you've been reading books. You've been binge-watching videos on YouTube. You've been listening to podcasts, but you just feel like you're spinning your wheels going nowhere. Literally, nowhere. Oh, man, that was so me a couple of years ago. Like... I went from traveling the world, knowing with confidence, like, this is what I was supposed to be doing, to what is going on? I have coaches, I'm reading books, I'm listening to podcasts, I'm watching YouTube videos, and I still seem to be going nowhere. And wait, wait, not just nowhere, going nowhere fast, okay? (laughs) Oh my gosh. Listen, friend, if that's you, here's what I don't want you to do. Don't stay stagnant. Like, don't stay stuck. Instead, recognize that change is happening. It's inevitable. And when you recognize that it's happening and it's inevitable, 
then the real power comes when you embrace it. When you embrace change and you're willing to take action towards growing, then my friend, yeah, then you can take your foot out of the quicksand and you can move ahead one step at a time. You can grow. And here's exactly what I want you to do. Start small, one step at a time. And you start by setting achievable, smart goals. Goals that say exactly what you want to accomplish. They're measurable, they're obtainable, they're realistic, and they have a time stamp to them. And then when you set these tiny, small goals first, then you push yourself out of your comfort zone by setting even bigger goals as you accomplish your small goals. But you got to remember this. You're not stuck if you're moving. So keep moving one step at a time. It's like Whitney Houston sang in her song, Step by Step. That's how we do it. Step by Step. Okay, let's take one more step together and let's go to the next question that I have for you to think about. And let me ask you, are these questions really thought-provoking for you? Like, are they having you think about some things you haven't thought about in a while? Okay, I, I trust that they are because this, my friend, really is your time to win. It's your season and so many great opportunities are waiting for you right? To just make the next move. So, all right, here's the next question. Are you yearning for prosperity? And, and when I talk about prosperity, trust me when I tell you, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about holistic prosperity in every area of your life. I'm talking about fulfillment. I'm talking about peace of mind. I'm, I'm talking about understanding your purpose. I'm, I'm talking about knowing that you were created to win. I'm, 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 I'm talking about having the confidence to know that God started something good in you and he will complete it. I'm talking about prosperity in every single area of your life, relationships that are healthy, your financial status. You don't have to be making seven figures. Listen, just get your, as my friend Shell would say, get your seven figure self together. <laughs> okay? Now that's what I'm talking about. Prosperity. And when it comes to prosperity, here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to chase it. I don't want to see you chasing material wealth. I don't want to see you running after anything that's running away from you. Because when we're chasing something, that means it's running away from us. We want things to run towards us. One of my affirmations says, I'm a wealth magnet. Money is attracted to me. It doesn't say I'm attracted to money. It says money is attracted to me. I don't have to chase it down. It chases me down. And when it comes to holistic prosperity in every area of your life, we're not chasing anything. We're cultivating abundance. Abundance in our relationships, in our health, in our wealth, in our mind, in our state of mind. Yes, we're practicing gratitude daily and investing time into nurturing meaningful relationships we are cultivating, which allows growth to happen in our life. We're not chasing, we're cultivating. And so what I want you to do instead of chase is cultivate. Cultivate abundance in every area of your life. Show up. Position yourself in areas and places and front of people that can nurture you and help you grow. And while you're connecting, there's another thing I don't want you doing. 
I don't want you to let comparison steal your joy. As you're connecting to people, what I want you to do instead is celebrate your unique path and your progress of taking one step at a time. Focus on your growth and measure your success by how you did yesterday. Are you 1% better today? Look at how far you've come, not how you stack up against other people. We really don't know how people stack up anyway. We can only go by what we see. And, and it reminds me of a quote that I read today. It says, all things aren't the way they appear and all things aren't as bad as they seem. So don't go by what it looks like. Don't go by what you're going through. Go by what you know. And here's what I know. I know that you were created to win. I know that you were born to prosper. I know that the plans that God has for you mm, are plans for a future and a hope. That's what I know. What you know, okay? Listen, if you don't know that, go by what I know. <laughs> and, and, and don't be afraid to say, RJ told you so. And, and I don't mean in a way like I told you. I'm not talking about that. But I informed you. I reminded you. I let you know that, girl, you got this. You are somebody special. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You're the head, not the tail. You're the lender, not the borrower. You are more than a conqueror. And God see it. You're the apple of his eye. He even told me to tell you and to remind you, according to Thessalonians, you're the daughter of the day. Mm. What you say? <laughs> what you say, girl? <laughs> okay, listen, listen. I am here to journey with you. I really believe that you can thrive in every area of your life. I don't just believe it. I know it to be true. I also know this, the only limitation that we have are the ones that we have in our mind. And that's why, my friend, I tell you to take one step at a time. Let's start today. Take that step to pursue your purpose, discover your true self, and prosper in every area of your life. And no matter what, I want to encourage you to keep pressing forward. As you take those steps, take deliberate steps and do it every single day. Even if that means you take two steps forward and four steps back, it's okay. Do your best to align with your purpose and nurture your self-growth. Your journey to fulfillment awaits you. And as you always hear me say, you don't have to journey alone. Let's do it together. And yes, my friend, there is more to life than meets the eye. And it's waiting for you. All right, my friend, we got our nine minutes in. And I just want to say thank you for allowing me to speak life into your life. I'd love to know what your first step today. Where are you going to start in discovering who you are? and the purpose that God has for you. And wherever you start, remember this. You are worthy, you are enough, and you are capable of living a life of purpose and prosperity. And you were born to win. So let's go fight win, my friend. Let's go. And before you go, let me let you know that today's episode was brought to you in part by our friends at Kitchen Tune-Up, Rancho Cucamonga. Revolutionize your kitchen with Kitchen Tune-Up, Rancho Cucamonga. Rana Barche, your personal expert in transforming your kitchen dream into a reality, is a maestro at creating stunning spaces. Whether it's a redoor or a reface, Rana specializes in revitalizing your home with tailored kitchen solutions that blend functionality with exquisite design. Experience the delight of a dream kitchen where innovation meets everyday luxury. Quality, trust, reliability. Rana Barche, your professional partner in kitchen transformations. For a kitchen that reflects your dreams, 
Contact Rana at kitchentuneup.com forward slash Rancho Cucamonga CA. That's kitchentuneup.com forward slash Rancho Cucamonga CA. Thank you for listening to Time to Win. I recognize that you appreciate the value provided in today's episode. And for your gratitude, I'm giving you a Time to Win VIP listener badge. So head on over to timetowinpodcast.com. That's timetowinpodcast.com. And claim your badge and gain immediate VIP access to more of our next level resources and opportunities, including details on the huddle, a table for 10, the cure circle, and the cure retreat. Because you've enjoyed today's session, you can also express your gratitude by rating, reviewing, and returning next week with a friend. Oh, by the way, be sure to screenshot today's episode and share it in your Instagram and Facebook story or on your favorite social media platform. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week in the locker room of life here on Time to Win. And remember... The best time to win is now.